So what exactly makes tianeptine so addictive? And on the other hand, why are some countries prescribing it as an antidepressant? Well, friend of the show and psychiatrist, Dr. Dominic Sportelli joins me to weigh in on these issues and others. Let me start here, Dr. Sportelli. First of all, European countries use this as an antidepressant, but we have not allowed it to be used as an antidepressant. They're doing it. We're not. Why are we not doing it? In 1989, France approved this, and, and 60 other countries approved it as well because it was an effective antidepressant in their research, right? Because it's very similar when you look at the chemistry of our old antidepressants, the tricyclic antidepressants that were developed in like the 1960s, right? Mm -hmm. What happened was is that it was a European market, and it never really made it to the States for approval, and it's generic at this point, right? So once something's generic and it's been around for a very, very long time, it's actually hard to get patented as a new drug in the States for sales. And listen, that's about economics, that's about politics, but it just really didn't end up on our shores. Over time, the European countries, Russia, the Ukraine, Armenia, they realized, whoa, this is binding to opioid receptors. Mm. So they actually increased their regulation, right? They increased their monitoring and they made a lot of prescription restrictions. So they're really on the ball. They're trying to get on the ball. The problem is us here in the States with this unregulated supplement. I can't believe this is called a nutritional supplement. I've seen it marketed as nootropics. It'll make you smarter. It'll make you think clearer. Oh, my God. So when we're talking about pharmacology, right, think about a receptor as a lock and the drug as a key. That's kind of how we look at the neurology of this stuff. And the truth is, tianeptine, that key fits the opioid lock in the brain, right? So it turns on or activates or agonizes the opioid receptor. So it gives the same feeling. It gives the same feeling of getting high with something like heroin or dilaudid or morphine, God forbid, right? And I got to tell you what's even scarier is when these are prescribed legally in the countries that it's regulated by physicians and prescribed by physicians, the dose is about 12.5 milligrams twice a day. Now, mm -hmm. when we look at the supplements, we're seeing 60 times that dose. That's what? six zero, six zero, 60 times that dose in these supplements that's completely unregulated. The potency is questionable. The purity is questionable, right? Yeah. So this is just horrifying. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market. Panic about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I could change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.